back again, Journal Journey, writing prompt number 64. Before we get started, please check out Flintlocked. It is the comic book I co-wrote and co-created. It's available on Amazon. Would really appreciate it if you checked out that independent comic book. Um, let's go ahead and jump in. Today's prompt is, what is your definition of trustworthy? Um... Yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's one another one of these prompts that they like to go with, which is uh, the, what a certain word or phrase means to you, or to define something. Um, how do I define trustworthy? Uh, I guess it's a combination of um, dependability and believability I think are the words I want to go with you know obviously someone trustworthy you want to depend that you can trust them uh, you can that you can tell them whatever it is you want to tell them or depend you know maybe on you if it's something they want to tell you when it comes to trustworthiness um, yeah and then I guess just believability can you believe the things that they are saying just believe that you can trust them um i know based on personal experience um there was someone that used to uh i used to consider one of my best friends um back in college for a lot of years he was actually the guy who married my ex-wife and i and um you know I th he was one of the people i thought i could tell anything you know, i thought he was trustworthy um and as the years went on, I started to kind of hear things from uh, what would be his ex through my ex. And then it was just like, well, I had known him longer than her. So I, I kind of just like sided with him. Um, but then I started hearing it from other people that didn't really have any, uh, that weren't connected in that way. And come to find out he may be a version of a serial liar. Um, and... Uh, it was certainly an <laughs> an eye opener to um trying to trust people in the future um and uh yeah I, I think the one thing that's hard especially with you know I, I i'm around a lot of people who are like you know uh performers in some way uh he was very charismatic and very good at showing people that he cared. And, you know, I think that's why a lot of people gravitated towards him. Um, he just felt like someone he wanted to be friends with and that you could depend on and believe what he said. And then turns out, no, he's just, you know, uh, <laughs> really good at his craft, which is acting. And then he also was good at directing. So he, uh, yeah, could be very believable, even though it was not something I should have trusted um, so now it's, it's definitely something that I try, uh, and I think it's something that I have a flaw that I trust too quickly, um, with people. And so it's something that I think definitely, yeah, should be earned because yeah, I can really come back to bite you. Uh, so yeah, I think that's what I'm just going to go with is kind of a combination of believability and dependability, I think kind of equal trust. But what's your definition of trust? Um, how would you define it? Um, comment below, let me know, and we'll see you tomorrow.